Hey, y'all, so we're back. It's now the 25th of August. Uh, TikTok, each day going by. Um, I'm feeling more and more pressure about maybe maybe not getting this cart ready to go. Uh, we're going to keep plugging away. Like I said in the, in the other in the description of the other video, I'm pretty sure we, I told you we ordered the clutch parts for Richie's clutch and for the clutch for the Yama dog. So, um, I mean, that's really... I could have that cart ready to run in probably an hour, hour and a half. Uh, put the clutch together, put oil in it, get it on the cart, all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep plugging away at this um, and trying to get it to go. But um, you know, if it don't, it don't. I ain't gonna be heartbroken about it. I mean, if I, I told the wife if I have to, I'll go over to the storage unit pick up the, the flathead. And if that's the only cart I got to take, then I'll go take and I'll run the guts out of it because we got a bunch of alcohol for it. So. Um, at this point, folks, at 57 years old, it's all about having fun at the racetrack. I am not, most of you, some of you, Randy, Joe, uh, uh, Ronnie, some of you guys that know me, know, I mean, Ronnie's still kind of serious for some reason uh, about his racing, but um, I'm not. I mean, I, I, I you know, um, it just, I don't have the, I guess I just don't have a competitive bone anymore. I mean, it, it's all fun. I love, still love driving a go-kart, but I mean, actually lining it up and, and especially in this class, you ain't got a heck of a lot of people to race with. You either have to race against 250s, which isn't fair, or one or two 125s, and, and um, sometimes they don't all show up at the same time. So um, up here at Gingerman, I hear that uh, Denver is going to be coming with a, with a mono, a, a 250 single. And that's going to lap quicker than we do. So um, watching somebody run away from you is not a motivational tool. Um, just going out and cutting laps, I can do I can do that two, three times a year at Grattan. So um, we'll see. We'll keep pushing as, as hard as we can to get this stuff going while we're still waiting for uh, our parts to come in the mail. Um, they got sent out yesterday, so that's good. They should be here by the weekend. We'll be doing some welding at my place. And... Uh, the clutch parts should be here from Illinois by the, hopefully, knock fiberglass by the end of the week as well. So we're going to go ahead and peel this tape off of here. I'll just sit you down as we've just taken our little splash off, uh, off the section of seat where we want to do our, uh, our little access panel, right? Um, with this thing, with the padding in here uh, and, and uh, with it bolted back in place once it's all finalized and done um you really won't even know that it, it's a multiple piece seat but uh yeah we're uh i cut the uh, shoulders out of this thing too um i don't know if i mentioned that in one of these other videos or not but i laid this thing on the floor i know i told ace hey ace what's up i told ace about this on the phone yesterday that um you know getting it foamed up you know, the, the more I laid in it, the, um, you know, the more uncomfortable my, my lumbar was, you know, rods and screws and stuff. Uh, the, the more uncomfortable it was laying on this flat piece of wood in the form. And uh, I was concerned that uh, this seat was not going to be too very comfortable to, to lay in like the old one. I mean, was literally formed to my lumbar and everything. I didn't have any problem laying in that seat and being comfortable. But... Uh, the other day, I had to lay in it to mark uh, mark where the you know where where, our, where the good Lord split us, um, so we get an idea of where the seat is going to sit, how far the door needed to be cut back, um, you know, measuring from our uh, from our, our our great divide, so to speak, down to our heels, and getting you know basically inseam number and uh, measuring down to the pedals up to the nut bar on the cart just getting an idea of whereabouts this seat is going to sit and uh we got a pretty good idea of what's going on here now so let me uh clean this thing up with a little bit of acetone real quick if i can find it and i'll throw this little splashy thing back on here and you can see exactly and it's a little sticky still i mean it's it's obviously cured up but um it's a little sticky on the on the side that was up against the tape 
So we got sun now. Now, of course, um, I'd like to put this thing out in the sun and let it bake until this sticky stuff was was all gone. But we're uh, we're on a schedule, right? I mean, we ain't got a heck of a lot of time to wait around. So, and again, this piece is going to get cut down quite a bit before it gets bonded back to the seat. We can't do that till we cut the excess panel portion of it off. So um, let's go a little bit more. She's still a little, little shiny. I know you can all see up there. It's those GoPro fisheye lenses, man. You can see way up here, right? <laughs> Pretty good. Now, we just drop this bad boy right back into place, and you see it's, it's moving around a little bit, but it's going to get glued on, right? So, I mean, as long as it fits, you know, where it's supposed to, and it fits pretty darn good, um, there you go. And what we'll end up doing here, folks, is uh, you see the, the black line we put on there. That's the door. That's going to be the edge of the door. And we put that right on the tape. So what we'll do is we'll just clean this, this outside edge up just a little bit, just to knock this loose stuff down, knock this edge down, this edge down. But you see, if this is the edge of the seat, we only really need, again, like the return on the seat itself, we only need about three quarters of an inch to half an inch, just enough to put a riv nut there, in there, and, and be able to, to keep this portion of the seat from dropping right through, right? So we'll end up cutting this back quite a bit. Because the 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 the, bit, the more you cut off, the bigger the bigger the access area in the seat is going to be for you to get to the goods here. And you can see even even without a seat here, with this nut bar on an angle like it is, it's hard to get in here and do things with the seat completely out. So it's going to help us. Obviously, um, our box is probably our opening is going to be here. It's going to be on the front side of the nut bar. Right, and it came in on an angle with the with the seat. So uh, we've got another battery pack. It's a little smaller than that. Physical size is a little smaller. This one's just a longer lasting battery pack, um, more amp hours, bigger batteries. So uh, that's where we're at right now. I don't know if we're going to bring you a part B for today or a part two for today or not. But uh, uh, checking on the trailer, um, the little the little charger that's in there, um, three and a half amp or whatever it is. Seems to be working. Fridge is still running. She's She's got a nice coating of frost going on the freezer in there. So um, it never shut off. It still has about 12 volts when the, when the fridge is drawing juice. The battery still contains 12 volts. So that's a good sign. Um, bottom line is, though, I think we need more amperage. We need a charger that puts out more amps. And I was looking. She's doing a little shopping this morning. Um after Bible class, and I found some stuff, uh, some a 6 amp and a 10 amp, I mean, ten. we know 10 amps does it, we know 10 amps actually uh, fills the battery up and bounces on and off the charger, right, cycles, um, so best, best to probably just go there, the only difference between a, a 6 amp, which is probably going to be enough as well, and a 10 amp is about 35 30 bucks so i mean what's 30 bucks i mean for to have peace of mind right that everything's going to be fine that way if you flip a light on and run it for a bit or you you turn the radio on for a half an hour 20 minute whatever it is an hour or two um you know that you got that 10 amp charger in there it's going to bring it back up quick and it's 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 instantly going to kick in when it starts dropping the, the voltage down so um still going well out there um our test is still going good but we, we still want to step up our game, so we're going to buy a new charger for there. Uh, trying to get something small enough that's maybe a little bit bigger than what's a physical size in the one that's in there, but not as big as, as uh, the big jumbo that we had in here for years and years that was Rich's charger, this big old sucker right here. This is, uh, th it barely fit from the, the door where the 12-volt box is to the, the, the door that literally closes on the outside of the trailer. Um, you can probably see one of these corners, it was kind of rubbing on it a little bit, but uh, you see even what happens sitting underneath there, it gets hot underneath there. The, the casing, uh, the plastic casing start turning gray a little bit. 
um, it gets hot in there. So we're probably going to put us a, uh, a vent from, uh, from a house, like a, a, an air vent or something that for your heat or air conditioning, a little vent grate on top of that, that door, that access door we made underneath the fridge. And we may even put some kind of battery powered little fan in there to, to get the heat out of there, you know, um, yeah, as I mentioned to Rich the other day, when we put this bench and stuff together, which I pro I basically did it, uh, put the, the parts toolbox, the one that's on the left side here, when we screwed that down to the bench, probably at the time we didn't have a fridge in there. There were three cabinets there instead of two and a refrigerator. Um, probably should go in there and unscrew that toolbox, move it out and bore some holes behind the toolbox but in the top of the bench back there so that hot air can come out that's an idea that's something one of y'all should come and help me do it's cool i get it i'm a one-man gang i can handle it so that's it for right now for the 25th we may bring you something later we may not um but we're uh we're moving along i'm gonna get this cut off i gotta get this uh this perch removed and uh, get that handle cut off so we're, we got the cart on the stand so we can roll it over to my house and get that welded back on too we're not real far away but uh you know me man i get real picky about how things go i could probably just half ass this and get it in there just get it in there for the weekend maybe we'll do that maybe we won't you'll have to come back and find out we're 11 minutes and 45 seconds in now so we better say goodbye all right folks that's it we'll bring you back in a bit or we'll talk to you tomorrow Godspeed. God bless.